Welcome to our channel. I'm so excited to share something really close to my heart with all of you. Today, we're diving into the significance of Navratri, a vibrant Hindu festival dedicated to the worship of Goddess Durga in her nine divine forms. For nine nights and ten days, we celebrate the divine feminine energy that resides within us all. Each day is dedicated to a different form of Durga, each representing unique qualities and strengths that we can embrace within ourselves. Get ready to immerse yourselves in the colors, stories, and traditions of this beautiful festival. Let's explore the power of each divine form and see how their stories can inspire us in our modern lives. On the first day of Navratri, we honor Shelaputri, whose name means Daughter of the Mountains. She embodies the unwavering strength and stability of the Himalayas. Imagine the mountains, standing tall and grounded, no matter the storm. That's the energy we connect with on this day. Shayla Putri teaches us to stand firm in our beliefs and face challenges with resilience. Her story reminds us that within each of us lies an inner strength capable of overcoming any obstacle. The second day of Navratri introduces us to Brahmacharini, the embodiment of devotion and spiritual seeking. Her name signifies one who practices penance, and her story inspires us to dedicate ourselves to our goals with unwavering focus. Think of the discipline it takes to pursue knowledge, to refine a craft, to truly master something. That's the energy Brahmacharini embodies. She reminds us that true strength lies not just in physical power, but in the power of our minds and spirits. Let Brahmacharini guide you on your path to self-discovery and spiritual growth. On the third day, we meet Chandraganta, whose name means she who has a crescent moon on her forehead. This beautiful and fierce form of Durga rides a tiger, symbolizing courage and grace in the face of adversity. Chandraganta teaches us that true beauty lies in our inner strength and our ability to face our fears head on. Let her story inspire you to tap into your own wellspring of courage. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The fourth day of Navratri celebrates Kushmanda, the creator of the universe. Her name means the one who created the universe with her smile, and she embodies boundless cosmic energy and abundance. Imagine the power it took to create the entire universe. That's the energy we connect with on this day. Kushmanda teaches us that we are all capable of creating beautiful things in our lives. She reminds us of our own power and potential to manifest our dreams. On the fifth day, we honor Skanda Mata, the mother of Skanda, the warrior god. Her name means the mother who carries Skanda, and she embodies the fierce love and protection of a mother. Skanda Mata reminds us of the nurturing and compassionate energy that resides within us all, whether we are mothers ourselves or not. Let her story inspire you to cultivate compassion, empathy, and a protective instinct not just for your loved ones, but for all beings. Day 6 introduces us to Katyayani, a fierce warrior goddess born to destroy evil. Her name means the daughter of Katyayani, and she embodies the power of righteous anger and the strength to overcome negativity. Katyayani teaches us that it's okay to stand up for what we believe in, even if it means going against the grain. Let her story inspire you to tap into your inner strength and fight for what's right both within yourself and in the world around you. On the seventh day, we encounter Kalratri, the goddess of time and death. While her appearance might seem intimidating, her name means she who is the death of Kal, symbolizing the end of darkness and ignorance. Kalratri teaches us that endings are not something to be feared, but rather opportunities for transformation and new beginnings. Let her story empower you to embrace change. Let go of what no longer serves you, and step into the light of your true potential. The eighth day brings us Mahagari, whose name means the Great White One. She represents purity, tranquility, and the fulfillment of desires. Mahagori teaches us that after facing our challenges and overcoming obstacles, we can find peace and contentment within ourselves. Let her serene energy inspire you to seek inner peace, forgive yourself and others, and cultivate a sense of gratitude for all that you have. Finally, on the ninth day, we celebrate Siddhadatri, the goddess of accomplishments and perfection. Her name means the giver of Siddhis, referring to supernatural powers or achievements. Siddhadatri teaches us that with hard work, dedication, and the blessings of the divine, we can achieve anything we set our minds to. 
Let her story inspire you to pursue your dreams with unwavering focus and know that you have the power within you to manifest your desires. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the nine divine forms of Goddess Durga. I hope their stories inspire you as much as they inspire me. Remember, Navratri is a time to celebrate the divine feminine energy within us all. May this festival bring you joy, strength, and abundance. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Wishing you all a blessed and joyous Navratri.